Let's dive into curricular integration while we have a few minutes left. Um, Andy would love you to chat a bit more about your curricular integration of osmosis. So we actually are doing a, an integrating across all four years. So like I said, we're a new school. So right now we're all at the planning phase for our clerkship. Um, but we have the, the benefit of having even those foundational science videos chunked into roughly 10 minute blocks is we can slide them into different parts. We have a very integrated spiral curriculum. Um, so a lot of those longer videos weren't fitting. You know, we only need three minutes of this content and then we have an hour long video. So it, it works really well from that standpoint. How specifically we're using it in our, our what we call phase two and three, which is our third and fourth year, a um, few things. So one, we have a lot of self-directed learning in our in our curriculum. So it is flip classroom in the preclinical phase. The students are used to that pre-work concept, pulling out the like, this is what I need to know about this topic. Um, so this is one, just a resource for them that they are going to be able to do pre-work and be expected to do that before they come into rounds um, to have that foundational baseline. The faculty also, when you, you sign on as a, and please correct me if I'm wrong from the, the company standpoint, but when, since we have our school account, all of the faculty have access to this as well. And if, I think there's even CME available when you, when you do a lot of right. these videos. So that's a, a nice little perk um, for the faculty. But um, so the faculty will, will know where we are on this. One, like I said, can refresh. But two, it also gives ideas with those learning objectives of where we are on a jumping off point on rounds. Okay, so we know this. So here's where I can take the conversation to a next level. From the curriculum planning standpoint, um, I'll use surgery since that's what I do on this, this product. So we have the ACS national curriculum with hundreds of learning objectives in that thing. <laughs> There's tons, but we actually have the osmosis videos mapped both for the prereq and for um, the actual clerkship level um, learning objectives in each of the national curricula, we have that mapped to these videos. That's actually how we came up with what video topics we need, what order we wanted to roll them out in to make sure we did our top 100, the most common things they're gonna see on rounds, we made those first. So that's directly mapped. And as a school, you can get that mapping if you need it um, on the back end for your school um, when you're doing you know, your NBME content map and you know, all of these things uh, on the back end. So I think that's very helpful. Um, the other thing that, that osmosis does to support, um, Catherine on here is an expert in learning science, and she will actually host education webinars for faculty. And they actually have some videos on their, their um, platform of here's learning science. And, you know, so it's more for faculty development opportunities on there, um, as well as other ways to meet with us to teach us how to use it with the students. So instead of just saying, here's a resource students, we can do things like say, okay, you know, here's your pre-work, or I want you to do a, a consultation, but then check the video to make sure you really thought through everything. You know, you can use this to check your work before you say it on rounds in front of everybody. If you miss something, it's not cheating to run back and, you know, add that to your note, you know, so things like that, I think are helpful. Um, and then the final thing that I think is extremely beneficial that I don't think we, we got into, but there are these dashboards on the back end. So all of those questions, um, the school is able to see by student and by cohort, what they're getting right, how much they're watching. Are they watching the videos? Are they all missing questions on this one topic that they need more support on? Um, it updates very frequently for just-in-time learning. So you can see, okay, I've assigned these videos. Um, you know, my students, I made a playlist for them for, you know, surgery 101. We would have an appy, a coli, you know, these things. You know, they watched it. They They all missed these questions. So that's what we're going to go over on rounds. We're not going to waste time on the stuff everybody got. So it really helps us focus in and be kind of more that, that precision education model of what each student needs and then what is a group to make it more efficient. Start a conversation to learn more today.